Hi guys, welcome to another technique here with Great Impressions Rubber Stamps. This time around I'm going to be teaching you how to do a really spooky Halloween-ish technique called Black Magic. And I don't know if you can see very well because I added glitter to this one, but basically we're going to be creating a colored image on a dark cardstock um, background. And the images that I used for this on the front here I've got G433 which is Witch's Brew, and then on the back I added my favorite sentiment, E767 Bubble Over. I thought that this little box would be fun to put some um, hot cocoa or cider packets as like a little Halloween gift for a friend. So that's what I've, those are the images that I'm going to be using. And let's get started. What you're going to need is a piece of black cardstock or any dark color would work. You could use dark navy, you could use gray, you could use a deep purple, but it needs to be a dark color. You're going to need a white pigment ink and you're going to need a solid image. And like I said, I am using G433, which is brew. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your image and ink it up really, really well with the white ink. You need to make sure that it is thoroughly soaked. I'll show you. See how I don't have any little bubbles or anything going on? And then you're going to stamp your image. After you stamp your image, you need to wait for the ink to dry. So you can do one of two things. You can set it aside and wait for later, or you can heat it um, with your heat gun so that it'll set the ink um, quicker and that's what I'm gonna do I'll be right back okay I am back I heat set my image using my embossing gun I guess you could also use a uh, blow dryer if you don't have a heat gun the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna try use some colored pencils to color in your image um, I've got a whole bunch of different colors because I figure Halloween doesn't just have to be orange and black anymore and what you're gonna do is you're going to take your colored pencil and you're going to color in by sections what you want that color. So I'm using green for my witch's skin. And you can see as I color how it becomes that color instead of just the white. Let me show you a closer up of it. So you see how it's becoming green instead of just white. And so you'd continue, continue doing this with all of the colors that you want to use. And make sure that your colored pencils are very sharp. And if you need to during the process of this, you can also color or you can also sharpen them as you go, okay? I'm gonna finish coloring this and I will come back and show you my finished product. Okay, I'm back with my finished colored panel. Let me get closer so you can see it. So I used my colored pencils to create a colored scene. Isn't that awesome? So let me show you the finished product one more time. After I finished coloring mine in, I did some um, shading around my edges with some white ink, and then I added some uh, stickles to my image as well as some little My Mind's Eye enamel dots which you can also get in the Great Impressions rubber stamp store and you can also get these cute little pins up here also they're also by My Mind's Eye. Anyway so that is it. That is how you create your black magic panel. I hope that you try this out today. Make sure that you also check the bottom of this post to see what um, supplies you're going to need for the next tutorial and I'll see you again soon. Happy stamping friends!